Hi, my name is Paul and I want to talk about a part of the body that's very important for you. And uh, so I'm going to start by asking you this question. What part of the body does this thermometer remind you of? Now that's sort of a hard question. But uh, it's sort of an interesting question too. When you think about it, our body needs to be regulated heat-wise. Uh, in our houses, we have uh, thermostats that can uh, control if the house gets too hot, we, we turn the thermostat down and vice versa. Well, there is a part of our body that does that same thing. And it's very important to be able to regulate our body heat. For example, for just about everyone that is hearing my voice, we have a set point for the temperature of our body. It's 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit and did you know that if it is just 10 degrees higher than that uh, the cells of your body will start breaking down and you'll die that's how critical this part of the body that I'm talking about is and uh, on the other side if the body temperature drops 10 degrees then uh, we're going to die of cardiac arrest so regulating the heat in the body is extremely important and yet many not only children but many adults don't even know what what that uh, part of the body is called uh, it's an extremely important part of the body uh, you could ask yourself the question uh, sometimes when you get co cold you, you shiver <laughs> And, and, and you also look at your arm and you'll see goosebumps. And when, when you look at your arm, you know, on a nice balmy day, you, you can look at it and say, okay, now I want you to start doing goosebumps for me. It won't do it. It won't do it. You, you can't really create goosebumps. Uh, and shivering is something like that as well. Both of them are designed to conserve heat. When you get a chilly outside and it's and you start shivering, your body muscles are vibrating so as to create more uh, heat for the body that you need. And the goosebumps sort of hold in the heat that you have and all. And then on the other side, uh, in the summertime, after you've run around a block or, or a mile or whatever, guess what? You start sweating. And the harder you uh, exercise, the more sweat will create, be created. And that's an effort of the, on the part of the body to, uh, to keep the body cooler than uh, your exercising maybe would make it become. And so it uh, is very important to have this part of the body that regulates our temperature, like a thermostat. And um, uh, you can't you know, stretch your arm out or look in the mirror and you can't say, okay, body, I want you to sweat. The body's not going to sweat when you tell it to sweat. But if you run around the block or a mile or whatever, you're going to start sweating, especially if it's a warm day. And uh, again, so the name uh, of this part of the body that we're talking about is called the hypothalamus. Now that's a big name, hypothalamus. There's actually two parts of it, and the two parts of the body come from the Greek word hypo, and the second half of the word is thal thalamus. And uh, so hypo, what does that mean? Well, you're familiar with the hypodermic needle. Uh, you, uh, nurses will use it to get under your skin, and that's the word. It, it means dermis is skin, and hypo is under, so it gets under the skin. So hypo means under, and the thalamus means chamber, uh, maybe inner chamber or whatever. And so it is sort of a hidden or an under chamber. Now, actually, if you go right back behind your eyes, maybe about two or three inches, and I, I can't point to it because you can't see it, but it is actually under the thalamus. thalamus. And uh, it's really sort of under your brain, in fact, uh, it's an extremely, uh, it's not very big, maybe the size of a peanut or, or something, but uh, it, it is extremely important. It's not only regulating the temperature of your body, it does other things as well. But I'm just focusing on uh, temperature of the body. And so uh, it's a small 
uh, under chamber, uh, sort of behind your eyes, under your brain. And uh, did you ever thank Jesus for this part of your body? A lot of people are thankful for their eyes and for their ears and for their uh, the different senses when they can reach out they can they can touch something they can taste an ice cream cone and sometimes people will thank God for for their eyes or their ears or, or whatever but did you ever thank Jesus or the Creator create Creator Christ for the hypothalamus you know the Bible says in uh, Psalm 139 verse 14 it says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know them full well. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. Uh, how We don't even hardly understand how that hypothalamus works. And yet we're, we should be very thankful that we have it. And so... I'm going to uh, close this video off, but I'd encourage you, right now, in the quietness of your heart, to thank Jehovah Jesus, Creator Christ, for your hypothalamus.